The United States has proposed a new resolution imposing an immediate ceasefire in Syria's eastern Ghouta. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N. has warned that if the U.N. Security Council fails to agree, Washington is prepared to act unilaterally. Nikki Haley said on Monday, it's not the path we prefer, but it is a path we have demonstrated we will take and we are prepared to take again. In recent weeks, the Syrian army has been engaged in a military operation to liberate eastern Uta from a host of militant groups, including the Al-Nusra Front. As, uh, as we know, uh, one week ago almost, the Syrian army started an operation to liberate uh, eastern Ghouta after, the, uh, after they uh, hosted uh, the, the terrorists inside of eastern Ghouta, taking eastern Ghouta hostage and uh, launching hundreds of missiles on uh, uh, mortar missiles on the civilians of Damascus, on schools, uh, hospitals. So the Syrian army started an operation to finish that area and secure the Syrian capital completely. As the Syrians, along with their allies, are succeeding on the ground, the Americans are trying to stop them by hook or by crook. They don't want the Syrian army to be successful, so now they are starting. Uh, one day they say that there's a chemical attack in eastern Ghouta. Uh, one time, one day say, they say that they are going to do a uh, military invention. Every day they're trying to do uh, pressure on the Syrian government, on the Russian government, to stop this operation. But the Syrian government has already taken the decision to completely t finish this, uh, that area, the area of Eastern Ghouta. There's over 7,000 prisoners uh, of civilians and soldiers in for, this, for the Syrian government and the Syrian army inside of uh, eastern Ghouta in the hands of uh, the terrorists. Haley recalled that President Trump had ordered missile strikes on a Syrian air base last April in response to a Syrian gas attack blamed on President Bashar al-Assad's forces. Now that the U.S. has a considerable presence in Syria, how serious can Washington be about attacking the country? Is it only a bluff or more than that? And the Americans, they can just, uh, they can just uh, threaten as much as they want because the American cabinet, the American uh, government is, not un is unsecure today. Uh, and what do I mean by that? And uh, I mean by... Uh, they're always recognitions, they're uh, fighting with each other, uh, Trump is, uh, does not get along with his other... So when you have, you're not secure in your own uh, cabinet, you cannot do uh, a military action or do a military war. And when we're saying a military invention against Syria, you're talking about not Syria and the Syrian army by themselves, you're talking about allies uh, in the whole region. You're talking about the uh, Iran will not uh, let uh, Syria to stand by themselves if the Americans uh, do a military attack. You have the resistance groups in Lebanon, the resistance group in Palestine, and also you have the Russians uh, will not uh, stay, st uh, stay on the side. Russian ambassador to the UN, Vasily Nebienzia, hit back at the United States, saying it is doing nothing but constantly blaming Syria and putting demands on Russia. He said the government of Syria has every right to try to remove the threat to the safety of its citizens. The suburbs of Damascus cannot remain a hotbed of terrorism. The Russian foreign minister, on the other hand, has warned that the consequences of a new U.S. strike on Syria will be very serious. Some are even speculating that the Russian response would be an attack on a third party supported by the U.S. I don't think uh, the Russians, they will do their own military action against Israel, but I think they will uh, do something and, they will, uh, and, and the Syrian army, they will do it. Because, uh, as you know, in the last few years, the Russians always tried to calm down the south border conflict between Syria and uh, North occupied Palestine. But in the end, the last time when the Russian uh, jet plane was shot down by the Americans, uh, uh, support American terrorists, 
who are supported in Idlib and with the American missiles after a few days the Syrian army shot down an F-16 missile in uh, in an air defense SAM-5 S-200 that, uh, from the 1960s so I think if uh, the Russians they want to reply and uh, hit uh, hit Israel because if you want to hurt America you have to hurt Israel and hit uh, the so-called state of Israel. So I think the Syrian army will do it, not the Russians. The war in Syria has dragged many regional and international powers into this country, turning it into a powder keg. Any wrong move can spark a war of enormous proportions.